Alrighty, so first thing we need to do, actually, no, first thing I'll do is I'll explain this. So you might have noticed that the guys here are slightly different to the what we saw in the Use these go away video hint. They're slightly different to what we saw in the opening movie, and the reason for that is because I've got reskinned minions. And it's a mod from the Diabolical Emporium. I'll include a link down in the description, but essentially the Evil Genius fan website that still exists, amazingly, eight years after the game itself was actually brought out, um, exists still. And there's a very strong modding community, even now. Which is, of course, one of the really good things to see when there's a game that you really, really like, is that it's still got uh, support from the fans. But uh, yeah, I'll include a link to that set of mods. I'm also using a mod that makes the doors look slightly different and every single minion is changed around so you'll be able to see it here it should still be there yep, you can see there it says welcome on the standard door uh, that'll change to staff only when it actually gets built but it's just an example for now so we'll set our construction workers to building that and our objectives are as follows evil intentions. Get acquainted with the island and start expanding your lair. You'll need at least one bunk bed and a locker in the barracks before you can send minions around the world. To carry out acts of infamy, you'll need to create a control room to help filter the information. Make sure you have at least one control console and one memory bank. And it seems that you are under scrutiny before you even begin. Somewhere on the island are some pesky investigators tipped off of your arrival. Eliminate them! So, one of the other things that comes along with this is I've got the unofficial patch installed. Now, the unofficial patch, among other things, increases the minion limit. And I believe it does that because the minion limit, it's not bad, actually I don't want that there, but at only a hundred minions, you'll occasionally find yourself, well, a lot of the time, you'll find yourself pressed to actually find minions to go into the world map and steal money for you. Which makes being an evil genius rather difficult when you don't have the money to fund your actual ventures. So with that extra 50 minions, you can generally find the ones you need. Well, yeah. I'm probably doing a really bad bad job of explaining it, but it'll, it'll make sense. So we'll construct our barracks, and we'll want to have 20 construction workers when available, and we'll construct two, no, three control panels, and we'll put a memory bank over here. Just put the one, because we don't really need that many at the moment. And just build more of a corridor here. I'll explain what I'm doing with the base as we go along. But for now, I'm not really going to do fantastically imaginative designs. What I am going to do is I'm going to build another strong room here. build a few briefcase racks to go in it. All construction workers are busy at the present time. Object purchase yeah, yeah, I know. Morning. So what we've got here is we've got a minion limit at the moment of five and our recruiting slider here is set to nothing so we're spending no money for extra construction workers which means we'll get one every minute. If we bump the slider to the right we'll spend money to get the construction workers quicker. At this point, it's not really worth it. Base layout Rooms tips. I've played this game many times. Leave me alone. 
<laughs> Granted, I'm not fantastic at this game. I would never claim to be fantastic, but I think I know what I'm doing. Yes, well. So there we go, we've got some briefcase racks, and we'll build a standard door there. Now the reason I've put this little alcove here is because I'm going to, when we get the ability to uh, place them, put a security camera here, and we'll extend the corridor down this way, and that way we can watch the inner area of the base. Now, oh, I could have sworn I put that in, apparently I did not. Now, I'm going to build two more alcoves here, but these are for a slightly different purpose. One of them is going to be for traps later, and the other one is going to be for fire extinguishers. Just in case some of those pesky agents get inside the base. Now, we do need to take out these guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to get Lord Kane. He's going to do that. Come on, take care of him. Forces on the island are engaged in fighting. Yes, I see them. Yeah, so that unlocked the freezer. If you want your minions to react... An agent has been killed, leaving behind a body bag. Well, that's alright. So now we've unlocked the freezer. The freezer is... a room that we will need to use quite a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it nice and close to the entrance of the base. I'm going to put it in here. So we're going to build the entrance down there, and we'll put the freezer room in here, like that. And then we'll just put freezer racks, one, two, three, four. Now we could probably fit another one in there, but it's not really worth it at the moment. You do need the freezer room because if you don't have one, the body bags just sit there and agents can find them, and your own minions won't be too pleased about them just sitting there for understandable reasons. Presumably it reminds them a little bit too much of their own mortality. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we will want to build that there. Now I'm putting a couple more alcoves in here. You may have noticed no. Go away. I'm putting a few more alcoves in here because eventually what we're going to do is we're going to use them for loot storage. Well, we're going to use some of them for loot storage. Um, yeah, that ought to be enough for now. Now we're going to use them for loot storage because as minions walk past, they gain uh, benefits from being near the uh, loot. So, we'll just move our evil genius in here. Yes, very pithy. Very pithy is Shen Yu. He who walk arrive. Now, we're going to store loot in there because when they walk past, minions' attributes increase depending on what loot it was that you got. So, we'll put a few of them in here. Some of these alcoves will be used, again, for fire extinguishers. I'll probably put another one in there. Put another one in there. And for now, there's not really heaps and heaps to do mainly because we're waiting for construction to be completed, and then we'll move the body bags, etc, etc. So, what is our actual mission? The only mission we need, the only uh, objective not completed yet, is this memory bank being built. So we'll use Shen Yu to make that a priority. As you can see, I selected him, right-clicked on it, there you go. All good. Now this blue circle is his sphere of influence. And what that means is if he's hanging around there and there's a minion in that radius, their loyalty goes up. 
and a few other attributes as well, I believe. So they gain uh, more loyalty and all that sort of stuff. Which is very handy, obviously, because they are minions. And you might also be wondering, why did you not put two lockers there? Because I did put two lockers there and then I removed them. The reason is I'm going to build an armory here. A small armory. Because you do need to have rooms with uh, the gun racks in them for your minions to arm themselves. So I'm going to make it nice and easy for them and have it right there in the barracks. Sweet! So the world domination map has been unlocked. We might watch this one. As well as being a cash candy jar for you to dip your hands into, the world domination screen gives you the opportunity to increase your notoriety. The best source of notoriety are acts of infamy, devious crimes that will win you terrible renown. Some acts of infamy will also award you with fabulously valuable loot. Most acts of infamy can only be uncovered by minions plotting in the region. To make minions in a region plot to uncover acts of infamy, select the plot option from the region screen. The more minions in a region, the faster they will uncover acts of infamy. Also, some minion types are better than others at plotting, so choose carefully who you send. Some acts of infamy are so outrageous that you will not be able to uncover them until you have increased your notoriety. So yeah, there you go. The world map is where you do your acts of notorious evil. Reports indicate that trained civilians are holidaying on the island, capture and imprison a maid. Alright, this one's the uh, tutorial for... You now have access to go away. World. We know about that now. Important information Stop it. Will be relayed. We know about it. Okay, so now we're going to want a few more minions. I'm going to go for 30. And we'll hopefully have them fairly soon, but this is what I was talking about. So I'll build a little armory here. It's big enough to store most of the weapons that we'll need later. We can't actually build any of those weapon racks yet, but that's okay. We'll just have the building there. And we'll just build another one down here. This is going to be security central. Mm, no, it's not, because I missed judged the size of the... Wait, yes it is. Aha! I have solved the problem that I created. Now this is going to be security central. So what we need is a holding cell and a regular door. I'm going to put some more gun racks in here too. But for now, it just needs to be there like that. Now what we're going to do is we have to wait until we've got enough minions, unfortunately. But we can send Lord Kane out, and we'll send him to America. We'll send him to the West Coast, and we'll put him to plotting. Now, plotting is what's required to uncover acts of infamy. So they find them slowly, but some minions are better than others at. Um, plotting and some are better at stealing than others. Construction workers are just crap at everything, but Lord Kane is one of the best plotters in the entire game, which is why I decided to start with Shen Yu, apart from the fact that Shen Yu actually has an ability that's worth shit. So, you know, it's all a bit relative. I think what we'll do is we'll get him to... Pri oh, we can't get him to prioritize that, I'm an idiot, because we haven't actually built this area yet. Prioritize this. Indeed. Uh, what we might do, though, is remove this alcove. Because this one is sort of redundant now. I'm probably going to put the power room in here. Because eventually, uh, once we hit that cap, that 20, the power will go out, so we won't be able to do anything. But that's okay. We don't need to at the moment. So unfortunately, a bit of the game, most of the early game, will be just waiting. Because we need to uh, get money and such. But I will make a small start on that. I'll send... Uh, two construction workers there, 
and two construction workers here, and two more here. So yes, I am going to send out six at the beginning, which will slow this building down a little bit more, but it'll be worth it because we'll be getting an income. And an income at this point is very important. Because if you don't have an income, you won't be able to uh, purchase, well, any of this stuff. It all costs money. So while we're waiting, I might explain a few of the game mechanics. This is a maid. And if you double click on the maid, you get this little uh, skilled civilian panel. Now, these attributes, they don't really matter all that much at this point. They'll matter later when you're facing super agents, because super agents have extremely high ones of these, but the only thing she's got a hundred in is loyalty, everything else is really low. This is the tag system. Now what is currently on is no tag, which means your minions will not react to this character in any way whatsoever. This one, however, is the kill tag, and the kill tag is useful when um, you've got enemy soldiers attacking your base, because soldiers can't be tricked or negotiated with, they just kill everything in their path, which is very annoying. The capture tag is handy when uh, you need to capture someone like this civilian who has a certain skill. She's walking through a wall. Uh, she has a certain skill set, so if you capture them and then interrogate them, you get that skill. And the final tag is weakening. Now, weakening is handy against super agents because you can't kill them. You can only distract them and hope that they go away. So, psychological weakening is very important, and psychological weakening is the domain of this line of um, minions, the social line. So, orange is guards and military minions, blue is science, and purple is uh, social, as I just said. So, slowly, we'll unlock all of these, eventually, but for now, the only one we've got is the construction worker. We will bump the... Hmm. Nah, 500, no, nah, it's not worth it. We need the money more than we need that. So right now, there's not going to be much response from the forces of justice because we haven't progressed past the tutorial level yet. I'm going to leave it that way for now because it'll take a while to actually get anywhere and we do sort of need the money at the moment. So I'll just let it run. Uh, we'll see if Lord Kane's discovered anything. It's a little bit difficult at the beginning to plot because you won't be able to discover any acts of infamy until you progress to a certain point. It's not really important at this point, but it can be. Um, I'm thinking we might put a mini barracks in here, just one with a few beds for the tired minions. Every uh, item in this game has a specific purpose as well. There is no item that does not have a purpose of some sort, but this is sort of pointless. We can't get enough in there to do anything. So the reason we're building this strong room in here, as opposed to just continuing to use this one out here, is because this one out here can be attacked by the forces of justice. I guess this one can too, but if it's, it's inside the base which is a significant improvement over this one, which is just sitting outside. It's not very secure at all. So we'll destroy it at some point. Right now we don't have the ability because we haven't finished building these. You need at least one briefcase rack in the inner uh, strong room before you can delete the outer one. But that's okay, we, it's not really important. Uh, some of our minions will move the body bags and once they're inside the freezer, they don't have any negative effects anymore. So if you watch this guy, he's got that little blue arrow popping down next to him. There you go again. And the purple one, those are his stats dropping because of negative effects of these body bags. I don't think we can select the body bag. No, we can't. 
But that's okay. It's because they're all busy working for us. But uh, if I could select the body bag, I could tell you exactly what it is that the body bag is doing. I believe it just uh, reduces loyalty and attention. Could be wrong though. Pretty sure it's loyalty and attention. So this is the world domination screen. Right now we can see nothing. Mainly because we haven't got any control panels manned, but that's not really important at this point. We're still in tutorial mode. But once you have enough desks manned, you can tell a lot of things about the region. Like, for example, if I click on this active infamy here, we can't see how much risk it is, we can't see how long it'll take, and we can't see what the results of it will be. The only thing we know is we get the library blueprints. This will be one of the first ones we do, but at the, this point we don't really need to do anything. But after you have a certain number of security desks, uh, not security desks, control panels, you can see the security rating, which is the little shield, and the money rating, which is the little money sign. And that tells you how much you'll earn from this place, but also how much defense is here, so how risky the missions will be. Right now, obviously, we don't have to worry about it because there are no agents of justice roaming around. I might move Kane from here though and move him over to Europe to do plotting. Actually, no. He'll stay there and he'll do stealing. Mm. Actually, no, change my mind again. He's going to head off to Australia and do some plotting there. So we're getting a fair few minions now. Also in um, on here, this is not how many minions you have, it's how many minions you have available on the island to send out into the world. So we've got 12 on the island, but in total we've got 18. Now this is the dock. This is uh, one of the places that supplies will come in, and the other one is the helipad over here. They're not particularly important at this point, mainly because uh, we're just building, so not all that much happens. Oh, they're tripping out a little bit. But uh, when we go into full construction mode and uh, are actually buying traps and all that sort of stuff, it'll become increasingly more important. So we should run out of power soon, that'll unlock the power generator, but I'll want to wait a bit because we've only got 21,000 left. But we're only earning 2,400 a minute, so what we'll do is we'll send some more minions out. Ah, there you go, he's unlocked a active infamy, I spy. We'll want to do this one fairly early as well, but we can't yet because we'll need a technician minion. We haven't got. Um, I think we will send out a few more minions. Because we've got a steady supply coming in. Um, yeah, we'll send some to Russia as well. Wouldn't want them to feel unloved. There we go. So when they head off on a mission, they'll all run into the depot here, and shortly a motorboat will come up here, which will take them to the world map. Now we don't have all that many minions here, and normally I wouldn't do this, because it would be exceedingly dangerous if you sent out that many minions to the world map and didn't actually have anyone here to protect your evil genius. Evil genius needs protecting. They can't fight. They will not fight. You can you can sometimes get bodyguards after doing a certain amount of notorious acts, uh, but apart from that, the only defense you have are your henchmen. And if your henchmen, like uh, Lord Kane, are out visiting the world, plotting, plotting, then they aren't at home defending. There we go. So the motor launch has arrived, and the construction workers head down the pier. It's not fantastically exciting, 
but it's something. Now every minion type has certain skills. Soldiers are better at stealing, scientists are better at plotting, and valets disguise the heat of your guys. So the heat meter here has gone up because we've got some people in Europe. And it'll go up even further for Sabre to these green guys because we're putting yeah, because we're putting more men into their territories. There we go. Okay, so we're getting four and a half thousand every minute. We do need more, but for now, it's doing pretty well. So I might close this opening episode here, and in the next one we'll continue along. I might skip a little bit because it does get a little bit dull in the early game while you're waiting for this money to roll in. So I will see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.